Okay, YouTube. This is Iron Squire. Now, I know that my other video is already up, and I'm really, really sorry about the delay. I have no idea what's going on. Well, I have sort of an idea, but I'm not going to get into it just because, well, it's complicated. But, yeah. So, this is this is the game I decided to let's play. It will be StarCraft Two Wings of Liberty, as is if you couldn't read. But I'm going to go off the assumption that you can't, so it's StarCraft Two Wings of Liberty. Ah! Anyway, <laughs> um, I decided before I jump right into the campaign, I just want to do three tutorial videos outlining each race, outlining what the heck's going on. Hold on, sorry, I just turned on microphone. Anyway, yeah, I just want to outline what the heck's going on. Okay. So what is this? This is StarCraft? What? I thought it was going to be a first-person shooter. Okay, whatever. What's going on? This guy. This guy right here. He's your main work. He's not the main worker. He is the worker for the protest army. He can build structures for you, which let's do that right now. Let's throw down a pylon. He can build structures for you. He can mine minerals. Oh. Options. Hold on a second. Throw the master bomb down a little bit because I noticed it was a little high on pre and after recording. He can buy minerals for you, he can build buildings, and if need be, he can attack. So, let's start training another probe. This is a Nexus. This is the main building that the Protoss use throughout the entire game. It can train additional probes, which I'm doing right now, and eventually it can build what's called a mothership, which is like this it's the mothership of the Protoss fleet. I mean, what else is there to explain? It's not that complicated, but, um, that was kind of harsh. But yeah, the mothership is basically like the... It says there, Ultimate Protoss Vessel. It's very powerful, also kind of squishy and weak. And by squishy, I just mean like it doesn't have a lot of health or damage resistance. But, um... Yeah. So, this is the first of three tutorial videos. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm doing that, and you're gonna, like, rage me in the comments. That would really, really kind of suck. But let me just explain what I'm doing. I am building up what is called Macro. Macro in this game stands for macro management. And macro is how you gain resources, how you how you spend those resources and how you build buildings. Which is different from micromanaging where which is like this is micromanaging, moving this guy around, making him do other things instead of using resources. That's macro. Or I'm sorry, that's micro. Macro is the use of resources and gaining resources. Okay, so, what are these tabs up here in the top? Because I noticed that even though it takes a long time, because this is like my third take of doing this, I still get attacked by the very easy computer a little bit. So, I just want to kind of minimize that, so I'm going to be building a couple of attacking units, just, and I'm getting my economy underway before I explain what the heck I'm actually doing. Okay, so, well, let me just get into explaining what I'm actually doing. What am I doing? I'm building up my economy. Each time... One of these probes goes up and, like, I don't know what you want to call it, like, scans, it looks like. Scans one of these mineral patches. He brings back five minerals, which we can, in turn, use for building buildings, building more probes, or training attacking units. And so these pylons, what do these pylons do? Well, first of all, they create a power field, which are which is used to power other... Protoss buildings. Because, see these gateways here, which, by the way, gateways are the main building that trains attacking units. Um, and yes, I know I'm doing a lot of things, like you can see down here, I have a hotkey. I know I'm doing a lot of stuff that's like, I haven't explained yet, and I'm really, really sorry for that. It's just, I want to, I want to make this, like, not a 40 minute video like my last take was. That was, anyway. Pylons generates fine, I know I've been on this for a long time. Supply is shown up here, and supply is the amount of units that you can have on the field at one time. So right now, we can have a total of 50 supply worth of units on the field. But that doesn't mean that we can necessarily have 50 units. Sure, we can have 50 probes, because probes, as represented right here by this pylon with the one next to it, take up one supply. So that means that we can technically have 50 probes on the field right now. Now, 74. Each pylon generates 8 supply. It doesn't really tell you that, but if you just do the math, it tells you... It, it does 8 supply. Um, dang it. Okay. Sorry, I will get to explaining what the heck I'm doing in a moment. 
Okay. So, pylons generate supply. Where is zealots? This is the unit I'm training. It's called a zealot. It's the basic attacker for the protest army. It's a melee unit. You can see the blades on its arms right there. Or not on its arms, but like out of the cuffs of its armor. It goes up and it slashes the enemy. It's really kind of cool, actually. But, um, that's the basic unit. And they tick up two supply each. Whereas, again, probes tick up one. Um, transfer a couple of these dudes over. 